All right, this one's gonna be on Gudios. It's a uh, Google Drive downloader. So you can actually download single files, and more importantly, you can do uh, the whole folder, which is what I want. A lot of these other programs, um, you know, that has a Google Drive downloader, they can't download like the whole folder, but this one you could. Anyways, uh, let's demonstrate it out here. We're gonna use our Surf Raw to search for, um, so, you know, some Google Drive stuff here. So we search for Linux, and I believe I had some files before. So if you want to do like a single link, which uh, I believe this one is, all right? Uh, we're just gonna copy the URL here, and we're gonna bust it out here, which is GooDLs, and we're gonna do a dash U for the was that URL flag, and we're just gonna put it in um, single quotes just in case, all right? And it's gonna download. You know to your current folder here um whatever it's doing but we'll cancel it out so that's how you use it for like single um what was that files but if you want to download the whole folder you can do let's do that again here we'll search for something else here uh what was that one i want to search for wallpapers because they usually come in like you know multiple files here and for example uh, let's do something small. I believe this one might be. All right. Um. No, not this one. Let's see, for example, this is the folder. That's a file. So this one, you can see that you know they have like multiple files in here, right? And usually when you use some other programs, they don't allow you to do this. But if you want to download the whole folder, you actually have to have an API. So you actually have to have, um, uh, you know, a Google account and create an API key and then you can use it. But I'll show you an example how it looks like when you're downloading with this. Uh, GooDLs dash U and then we're just gonna input you know that folder here, the folder URL. And what it's gonna do is download the whole thing, all right? And we can actually look at this using Ranger, I believe. Here we go, so this is the uh, images that is going to download here All right so there you go that's how it downloads the whole folder pretty simple anyways we're going to cancel out of that but that's how you do that and if you want to get your api uh set up uh how would you do that you can actually uh export it in your bash rc or zshrc whatever a shell you're using you can do like an export and you know whatever your API key is, you can do you know type it out here, and then uh, it should be loaded when your shell is running, right? So that's how you do the uh, API keys. Otherwise, you can actually just type it out, um, you know, using the key flag. I'll show you in a minute here. I actually, don't do that. Let's see here. Uh, where was that one? Um, API API. Where the hell was it? Down here somewhere. There we go. So if you actually have your API key, you can just do like, you know, GooDLs dash U and then the URL that you're looking for. And then the key, you can actually just type in the API key in there. Uh, if you don't want to export it, you can do it that way. Uh, as far as getting the key, like I said, you do need a Google account. And then you actually have to create like a new project and then enable, um, you know, the API key. Uh, this is only required if you're wanting to download like the whole folder, right? If you download just a single file, uh, you don't need to do this, right? But the thing with a single file is really annoying because, you know, you have to like click on the URL and then the next one and the next one, it's annoying when you try and download, you know, on the whole folder. Anyways, uh, that's how you use it and pretty cool program if you want to use it from the command line. That would be it for this one.